Hi guys, welcome back to Python Base Data Science Lecture Series. In today's session, we'll be discussing about how we can produce text. Now, in Python, by using tkinter, there is a widget called as text. Now, for Java guys, the multi-line text box is a is resembling the widget of Python tkinter that is text. Whenever you want to make a multi-line text field, in entry we can enter only one line at a time. But if you want to go with a multi-line text, then you have to use Python tkinter text widget. Let us discuss this by example. Now here in this example, I'll just like run the code and demonstrate firstly and then we'll discuss the each and every line of a code. Here it is. In GUI, I'm having a label by the name of fact of the day. Then I want to add multi-line text that is welcome to Exum Tech Guru Private Limited and Python based data science lecture series. These are the two lines I am adding in the text. And then in the same text, I am having the button as well by the name of next and exit. If you click on the next, maybe another line of lines will be added. And the exit means you can quit from the GUI like this. So to generate a GUI like this, let's go for coding. Now here are the basic steps like from tkinter import star, import tkinter as tk. So tk become a delegate to import the library of tkinter, root equals to tk. So now root, it become a root window and this root dot geometry 250 into 170 by the width of 250 to 170 height that window will be formed t equals to text of now text is a widget root it will appear in the root with the height of 5 and width equal to 52 means we initialize the text with text widget text component on the root with the height of 5 and width equal to 52 and initialize to t then we have a label which is having the prompting message fact of the day and configure with the font courier with the size 14. Then we define a variable called as fact. Welcome to Exume Tech Group Private Limited Python based data science lecture series. These are the two lines, two, two lines we are assigning to the fact variable. Now we have a button called as next and we have a button called as exit now next button we don't add any kind of event on it and in the exit button it will destroy the window GUI will be closed it will come out of the window and then now we have a text we have a label and we have a window and we have two buttons we pack label text buttons two buttons and then we insert text provides a method called as insert to insert the multi-line text so t dot insert t referring to the text field insert tk dot end this whichever the current current position at the end of it it will add the fact so that multi-line text welcome to Exum Tech Guru Private Limited and Python based data science lecture series will be added to the to the text and will end the main loop of window. Let us run this code again. So you'll get the result like this. Because guys, if you want to add multi-line text as well as if you want to add just like in case of Java as I given the 
example we are calling it as a text area where we can add multi line text in the similar manner in case of python chicke enter you have a text widget where you can add the multi line text as well as the buttons and images as well so to generate the gui like this you have to initialize the component called as text you can assign the height and width of it and then you can add the multi line text in it hope you got it now let us consider the second example here in this case i am just like trying to generate the q and a session let us go for the execution first yeah here it is so it will ask you what is 24 into 5 so if you want to answer it if you want you have to give the answer over here and this this is the text where you can add the multi lines over there just like for the sake of example understanding we are doing this kind of so we have a question and i having a text text with the multi lines and show if you don't answer any and show that will say wrong answer because you haven't any answer it but if you answer it correctly like 120 and show that will say correct let us go for execution again what is 24 into 5 if you say 100 say wrong answer and if you run it and give it the 120 it will say correct anyway so in this case again i have to pick up an example how i can create a label a text with the multi lines where you can add the multiple lines over now this is the example where you can't add the multiple lines but let us understand okay you have a text field where you have to answer you may have a answer of descriptive type also where you can add the multiple lines so here from a tick enter import star root equals to tick with the geometry 300 300 and title with the q and a So window window will be generated with the size of 300 300 and the title Q and A. Then we have a function called as text take input, right? Now this take input is going to like that button processor is there. In a previous example, we uh, we have a button next button, but we don't process any event. But here in this case, if you take a input, take a input means like whatever entry we do in the text field. input text dot get 1.0 and end of 1c means it will get from the start point to end it will get all the call get get all the entry and assign to input means this is the area means like this is the text area where we input the answer so it will get the answer right and assign to input now print input what you input what what you input over there the question is what is what will be okay 20 into 4 and if you yeah, whatever the input you will give then goes to the input it will print the input if input equal to equal to 120 right if input equal to 120 then output dot insert we are in, inserting output that is correct else the wrong answer and you can you can go for uh, like you, you, you can verify whether the given answer is correct or not so this is about the button event processor right whenever you uh, like Uh, to check whether the entry is correct or not now here is a label what is 24 into 5 and then we we have a text field with a height of 10 and width is 25 and then background color is light light yellow we initialize the text field text with a and uh, assign to the input text and there is a output text when there are two text uh, text i i i uh, assign one is for input the answer and second is for output over there now height is 5 width is 25 background is light clad and here is the display now this is a button means input text output and display display this is a button with which is having height to and then show and uh, what it will do it will give a call to take input now take input is a function which will take the input from the uh, from the text one text that is input text and then it will check whether the answer is correct or not and if the answer is correct then it will add it will insert correct uh, uh, correct line to the 
to the to the text uh, called as output otherwise wrong answer so we have a text one that is called the input text where we can input the uh, answer and we have a output text where we will get the output whether the answer is correct and we have a label where we got the question over here and the button called as display which will take the, which will process the event text uh, take input and then decide whether the answer is correct or wrong and we got a label pack input text dot pack display pack output pack and the main board right let's run this again it will pop up a question it will give the answer and this is your uh, input text this is your output text so if, if this is the button display so if you click on this it will set correct the output will be correct over here right so this is another example of a text now let us go with the third example where i want to even insert an image to the text so if you if you have a uh, area where one one section is occupied by the image and second section is occupied by the multi line text or not let us run this firstly here it is i'm having a text multi line text where one section will be occupied by the image and the second section will be occupied by the multi line text like exome tech group private limited it solutions by it masters it park nagpur 22 sort of right and you have a button also here here link sort of so if you if you click on it not now maybe later sort of okay like this this is like okay uh, if you have a, uh, a text with link things so these all all, all the properties i am exploring over here in this example so i am having a text field where i have to divide the section into the image as well as multi line text as well as the the hyperlink sort of okay where you click on it you will get the some notifications right let us go for the code here it is i am importing a tk intro library and then assigning to root now uh, text one with the height of 50 and 70 that is the height of 50 50 as a uh, width and the 70 as a height sorry height as a 50 and width as a 70 and then we will assign a uh, ax one dot png as we know if you want to assign an image okay you have to uh, copy the image uh, png image or any other gif image onto your folder so photo image is a method file equals to ax1.png ax1.png already copied copied to this folder and then then i like insert slash n means first of all the the text one when you got the photo image okay you uh, have a blank uh, line over there and then the text one dot image create and then at the end of uh, at the position you are adding the image code over there so in this manner a photo image will be added here is he, the image will be added over here after that text one dot pack okay we'll back to the left side of the text right now text two text two means this 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 position okay where we have root height equal to 100 and width equals to 200 okay this was the uh, about the text one and this about text two now this is it is appearing on the right side of it now scroll equal to we are having the scroll box also scroll scroll bar also root command equal to text two dot view okay and then we are adding the scroll bar if uh, the, the number of lines we are adding is uh, going beyond the size of it then scroll bar will be automatically added and it will make it that text to viewable so text to dot configure scroll command scroll dot set and then uh, the, the configure with the bold, uh, the font and uh, like the style of font and <clears throat> then then text2 dot text, uh, tag configure the tag was also there and then tag, tag configure with the foreground and uh, yeah, the font and all right that tag was like okay by the name of follow and if you click on the follow then it will appear that not now maybe later so like the you can you can tag the text also right and then we insert the at the end exhume tech guru private limited and then another quote we are having it solutions by it means like uh, here in this case 
text one is where we can put the image at the left side and the second size we have a text multi line text also we are adding at the same time we are also adding a tag tag find means like we, it will appear follow but if you click on this then it will appear the it will, it will the that tag text will be appear over here in this manner we insert the quote the follow up tag and then uh, text to dot back that is left and scroll dot back okay that that all uh, the things will be adding over here right so here in this case you've got the interface like this we have a uh, text one very 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 having an image on the root and then you add it to the left section of the text and then we got we are having a multi-line text okay we are having a title and the multi-line text and then we have a tag okay tag means okay a text which is binded with certain text if you click on that then the actual text will be appear right so here i'm trying to explore all the possible methods and all the possible ways to explore the text field now let us go for another interface in gui that is called the menu creations now after understanding all the possible why gates of take into to generate the gui we have a entry button combo box radio button by images by using that all we one can able to create all the user interface for accepting data processing data and give the response to the user now here we we uh, for, for the for any applications you need the menus okay so menu bar menu menu items and you can process the events of the menu at a well so now today let us this explore how we can create the menu and how we can process the event or anything here i try to develop a menu bar like a ms word okay if you click on the here it is we got a file menu with the options new open save save as close exit and we have a edit menu we are going to undo cut copy paste delete select all and the help with the help index and about now this kind of menu you will find in the microsoft applications right now let us discuss how we can how we can create this menu bar and the menu based application over here as you know that okay wherever whenever we are going with the application like here in this case okay okay it, it's a very tough for us to uh, memorize the options so we can categorize the uh, the options uh, user need to select and for that reason menu will be play a wider role so here here we import the library from tk enter import star here like uh, uh, we are not actually processing uh, means if you click on the new new file will not be open over here it means we are, we are uh, i am developing a interface where my buttons or the menu items are doing nothing now right now so when you click on that it will give the message do nothing button and it button will be back so file when with the top level root okay and then button will be uh, there by the text do nothing button and it will be back so i'll initialize the root there were the menu bar okay with the menu and then i'm having the file menu right file menu is a part of a menu bar now and then i'm having the option file menu dot means first of all you have to uh, initialize the menu bar and then the file menu and with the options new open save save as and close right and then after clicking that all the options which command which which is you have to add the command so if you click on the new what has to be happen so obviously the call goes to over here but right now as i said we are not processing in the event okay it will give the options uh, do nothing button sort of so <clears throat> we have a menu called as file menu with the options new open save save as and close then file menu dot add separator means like we have we, we added the separator okay and then file menu dot add command label exit okay there is another means like uh, the, the, after the menus there is a separator okay called as exit and then menu bar in the menu bar means this is about the file menu and then like if you look at the interface of file menu, okay here it is file menu here is a separator called as exist means like you got all the options new open save 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 as and close and then the, uh, with the file separator with the with the add separator we have an exit okay 
So now here, file menu dot add command after separator we are having an exit over here and then if you click on the exit okay command equal to root dot quit means it you will application will be quit over there. So menu bar dot add casket label equal to file menu equals to file menu is that entire file menu by the label file at the label of file menu bar at the menu bar add casket label equals to file and menu equals to file name that the file menu that entire file menu with a new open save save as close with a separator exit will be added to the label file over here. right so now uh, here it is this entire things we generate the file menu with a separator exit and this entire file menu will be added to the to the main bar right menu bar add casket with the label 5 and menu equals to file menu now edit menu edit menu equals to menu menu bar and then add command okay we are in the in the in the edit menu we are adding undo then we are having add separator undo is a separate and then separator then we are having cut copy paste delete select all and then on the menu bar dot uh, add casket label equals to edit and menu equals to edit menu that entire edit menu first of all we have undo then separator and then we have a cut copy paste delete select all and then we add it as a edit menu in the same manner manner we will generate the help menu and help index okay and then here will uh, here we are having about and help right and the help index and the about these are the two menu items what we are having in the help menu and then we are adding menu bar dot add casket help with the help menu in the menu bar right and then we, we are having the and we are configuring this menu bar menu equals to menu bar to the window and then we we'll continue the window over here so here when you run this you will find all the menus will be appear here first of all menu bar right and menu bar having the uh, like file menu then edit menu and help menu so we have to create the menus okay like uh, and to uh, separate it we have add separator add command okay and every menu uh, menu item okay menu bar menu bar have a menu menu have a menu item these are the menu items new open save save as close okay and exit separated exit these are the menu items by these menu items will generate the menu and this menu will be added to the menu bar so and then uh, menu bar dot add casket okay add casket is a method to add the that entire uh, menu which you developed with the label file and then we in this manner we generate the another label with the name of edit okay where we add the undo with the separator cut copy paste delete uh, select all and then we have are having a help in help menu where you got a two uh, menu items help index and about and in this manner that entire menu bar will be added to the root and you will generate the interface like this as i said right now we are uh, not processing any event okay but later on at that button you can process the event and uh, can generate the menu driven application accordingly in today's session i try to explore the text why get where we can appear the multi-line text okay so how we can create a window with a multi-line text how we can add the images at the left side and the multi-line text and the tag uh, text and all so we try to explore text by get as well as the menu bar. So in, in this Python page data science series, here we are trying to explore all how we can able to produce the GUI components by which we can produce a paired UI in Python using TK Intro. I hope you enjoy this session. Thank you.